I'm sorry. Sometimes it just goes up like that. It'll go down. Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with. Franklin. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you, but you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills.
Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Mm -hmm. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the... Don't! We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. This is an important part of the great democratic experiment. Not the rich! It's so heavy! The breaker! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, the right field of the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Terror does not take coffee breaks. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not... yourself you're not gonna drown not the water board it's torture no no please don't you shouldn't be legal not alone alone no. oh, no. 
I know it's legal, but he can still drown. Help me pick this up. <laughs> that was torture. <laughs> it was all a dream. It's a nightmare. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean... So, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, talk. this guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right back there and grab one of those big ones. My teeth are perfect! Oh, he was a tough SOB, that little guy. Sick! That so hard! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 He's got fear. He's got fear. He's got fear. Uh-huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. No. Yeah? I'm telling you the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's giving us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we uh, just take two bullets and put them in our Please, format no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters, we need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our time. How many vaults do you think they got running through these things? Take another tooth, please! Who the Whoa! Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got... What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Oh, fuck. You get kicks out of killing innocent women now? The report I'm gonna have to write. Stevie fucked it. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's detail. 
Ah, I see someone. 